Hi, welcome to the Belfry. This is a stunning Brabazon golf course. My name is Chris Ryan, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the golf swing of recent US Masters champion, Sergio Garcia. And I'm going to look at just one element of his golf game, which is a little bit different to many others, but something which I think can really help you improve your golf game. So it was great to see Sergio pick up his first major at Augusta earlier this year. And as I say, there's many, many things that he does very, very well. Obviously, he's a major champion, so he does lots of things well. But we're just going to pull out one little element, which is down at impact, which he does a little differently to some of the others. But as I say, I think it can really help you improve your golf game. So we're really looking at what Sergio does at impact and how he gets to impact. So when Sergio takes his address, if we could put a line through the golf club, at impact, his golf club gets very, very similar to that line. It's almost exactly at the same angle. Now, whilst this might seem like it would be the norm, and that's what we'd like to see, for many golfers, even the, the best that you see on the PJ Tour, European Tour, LPJ Tour, many of those will actually have the hands at impact slightly higher than they were at address. And this would be absolutely fine. This is something, as I say, we see from the best golfers in the world. But Sergio gets his hands much, much lower. Now, when we look at the, the golfers that I see coming through the academy, and they're often the handicapped golfers, and very often they're coming to me because they're struggling with certain types of shots. You know, maybe it's a, a poor strike, maybe it's a weak flight, maybe it's a lack of distance, maybe they're struggling with direction, whatever it may be. One of the most common things I will see is that when they get to impact, their hands are not at the point they were at address, they're not a little bit more up, but they're actually excessively high. So the handle gets very, very high. Coupled with that, they often have a stand up in the body, so they lose some of their angles. And this is a very, very common impact position that I see. Now, why is that an issue? Well, as I've already said there, it tends to see the golfer lose a lot of their body angles. And if we raise the handle up, we often get the club face pointing more out to the right hand side. We're not going to talk about that too much in this video, but the more that you raise the handle up, the more the club head will point to the right, and the more you lower the handle, the more the club face will point to the left. So those golfers who have that extremely high handle will often struggle with the shots that go out to the right. So what allows Sergio to get his hands so low, and why is that gonna help you? Well, where your hands are at impact, in terms of how high or low they are, is very much determined by the angle that the golf club shaft is on during the downswing. So let's say I've got a golf club which is in this vertical position. If I needed to get that golf club onto a more, let's say, what we'd term maybe an on-plane position, so that's maybe at some sort of angle, the best way for me to do that, bearing in mind that the only contact point I have with this golf club is through the grip, the best way for me to change the angle of that golf club would be to push my hands outwards. As I push my hands outwards, you can see how that golf club has changed its, its angle. It's on a different angle to it was a moment ago. Now, if I put the golf club horizontal, and I needed to get this golf club closer to an angle that was more kind of on plane, if you like, the best way for me to do that would be to pull my hands down and in. And you can see how that's changed the angle of the golf club. So depending on where the golf club is through the downswing, I'm probably going to have to move this part of the golf club differently to try and find my impact position. So let's go through this golf swing. You'll notice I've got an alignment stick here. We're going to come to that in a moment. But if I go to the top and as I start down I get that golf club what would be considered very very steep you can see how the club shaft angle is excessively steep for me to recover that through to impact I'm probably going to have to push my hands out and up and there's my impact my delivery with a handle very high and you can see how my body angles have reduced as well I've stood up a little bit in an attempt to get that handle more outwards let's say I'm the kind of golfer who's got this club excessively flat the best way for me to get this golf club to impact would be to start to bring the left hand more down and in to get the golf club into that position. And now we can start to see an impact position which would look a little bit more like a Sergio. So as you've probably seen from lots of the slow-mos and maybe you know watching Sergio before, he has a very, very distinctive change in the shaft angle as he starts down. He gets that golf club onto a flatter angle, which means that he has to work his hands down and in a lot more than many other golfers. His hands working more down and in sees him able to return the golf club much lower than many other golfers. So the golfers that I tend to see who struggle the most would tend to have the golf club quite steep in that transition. 
And then the recovery for that is to stand up and raise the handle up. And so we get the handle very high. So that was a lot of talking. I appreciate that. I apologize for that. But here's the drill you're going to do. I've got an alignment stick set in the ground and I've placed it. I've got a tee peg in the ground. I've placed it just about the width of my club head outside my ball or my tee peg, I should say. And I'm going to take my setup to the tee peg. You'll notice that I've got the alignment stick very, very similar to the golf club angle. So here's what I want you to do. You're going to make some three quarter back swings and stop. You're going to take off your trail hand and you're going to try and just let the club head fall behind you. Notice how I'm not moving my left arm. I'm just allowing the club, club to fall behind me. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to rotate through and see if I can get my hands lower than the alignment stick. So that drill is going to look a little bit like this. Three quarters back, hand off, let the club drop and rotate through. Do that again. So three quarters back, let the club drop and rotate through. Now, what you'll hopefully find is that you're having to move your left hand and ultimately the handle of the golf club in a slightly different way to achieve a movement which would cause that club to sort of swing through roughly towards your target. If I try that and do the opposite, if I go here and steepen that, I feel very much like I have to raise the handle up and I'm going to collide into this stick. So in practice, not a bad idea to actually do that. You know, do the wrong one, do the right one and start to you know, get a sensation of what's different, how you're having to use your body differently, how you're having to move your left hand differently in order to recover some of those positions. Now, obviously this little drill we're doing when we let the club fall behind us is a little bit of an extreme version, but it's a great way for you to start to get a different sensation of how to move that golf club through to impact. That's going to be a fantastic feeling for many of you who do get steep in transition, deliver the handle very high, struggle with those right shots, struggle with those poor shots. That's going to be a fantastic way for you to feel that. Now, ultimately, what we can do is we can take that through to two hands on the golf club, up to the top, and we can feel like I'm delivering the golf club much lower than it would be normally. But really, I think the importance of this video is if you're trying to change your impact, it's key to realize why that impact is as it is. It's probably due to something that's happening much earlier in the golf swing. And what is happening earlier in the golf swing is very often a shaft angle, which isn't quite right for you. And then you have to make a recovery on the way down. Drop the stick out of the way. Just gonna put the ball on a tee peg just to make it a little bit easier for me. And I'm just gonna clip this one down the fairway. I'm not gonna go at full speed because I wanna try and feel like I'm gonna get the club a little flatter and feel like I return the handle a little bit lower at impact. Okay, and I'll take that one. So, Sergio Garcia, fantastic player. Love watching him play, love his golf swing. There's definitely some things in there we can learn and we can adapt to your game. We don't necessarily need to get that look of a Sergio, but I think if we can move towards it and understand what that helps him do with impact, it's going to help you play some better golf. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that helps. Hopefully it's something you can take practically, practically to the range and work on your golf swing. All the usual stuff is down below. There's a like button down there, there's a comments box, and there's a link to subscribe to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and do so, absolutely free. It just means you're gonna get first access to all these videos. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.